Hey, Miles, uh, can you just run us through that play, if you would, and uh, obviously the significance of it? Sure. Uh, well, you know, it was a it was a big play for us, obviously. Um, you know, it was a moment in the game where it was a big momentum shift and uh, it was a good team effort. I know, you know, a lot of guys don't really know how things happen on special teams, but it's it's very rarely one guy's uh, victory when something big happens. And this is one of those moments where it was a culmination of a lot of guys doing their job. Um, and I just happened to be at the point of attack. And I was, you know, very thankful that I was able to um, to, to make it happen. And then my boy Yuli scoops it up and scores it. Very, uh, happened very fast, but uh, it goes back to what we were practicing all week. Uh, Danny Smith wrote up a, a few good, good plays that uh, we were able to execute and especially against a good outfit like Buffalo. So everything just kind of happened the way we had hoped it would. Brooke Pryor, ESPN. Hey, Miles, uh, one of the things that I forget who it was on the podium yesterday, they mentioned that some of the special team workers got together at halftime. We were kind of talking amongst themselves and we need we need to make a splash play. We need to do something significant. What was that conversation at halftime? And did you guys feel like, you know, obviously it's a three phase game, but how important was it for your unit to be the one to make something big like that happen? Sure. Well, if you recall, we had uh, I think I admitted it. Uh, we had given up that uh, return early on. And, you know, this is a team where we, we take things like that personal. You know, we, we want to execute our phase of the ball. Uh, but with that being said, I, like I alluded to earlier, Buffalo's a good team and their special teams is, is very good. And so we knew that we had to answer with uh, a splash. We had to just do our jobs. And that was something that we really wanted to hone in on. Uh, Derek Watt. Yuli, obviously some of the other guys, uh, Chico, you know, we all talked and we we're like, hey, listen, we need to do our jobs. And, you know, a lot of times when everyone's doing their job, it leads to a splash play like what we saw there at the uh, towards the end of the game. Alan Saunders, Pittsburgh Sports Hey, Miles, what well, just was it like to be able to come up with that kind of big play personally for you in your first game with a new team and, uh, you know, to really show the fan base and, and uh, what, what you're all about? Sure. Well, I'm one of the new Steelers here, you know, whether it be, you know, the lot, we have a lot of rookies and we have some new guys who came to the team and I, it's true. I do want to contribute. And so I, I feel very blessed. I, you know, I thank God that I was able to uh, be a part of the contributions that led to a win yesterday. And uh, I'm excited to get back into the lab and, you know, we're going to watch the film. There's obviously a lot of stuff we need to work on going into uh, play the Raiders this week. And so uh, I just want to keep it going and, and keep pushing. This is a long season, and uh, I'm here for the grind. Chris Adamski, Trip. Hey, Miles. Um, just a couple. I know you had a blocked punt last year against the Lions. Have you had any other, either in the pros or in college or anything like that? And then also on the on that play, are you do you actually think about maybe even tackling the punter at that point? Are you instructed to go for the ball no matter what? Like you were so much on him, you might even be able to bring him down. Uh, uh, what's your kind of your mindset at that moment? Or are you just not even thinking at that moment? Well, no, I, I'm definitely thinking at that moment, and I do not want to hit the punter. That is not that is that is definitely the main uh, goal is to stay off of the punter. Uh, and so, you know, we, like I said, uh, you know, Coach Danny Smith, he has us practicing that a lot in practice, you know, all the way back in the spring. This is something that we're very deliberate about. Uh, you know, those moments do not just happen on Sunday. It's something that we practice a lot uh, leading up to the game. And yes, I did, you know, I did have a, a, a block punt last year. Uh, I had one in, in college too. It's it's fun, man. I mean, that's something you want to do on special teams. You want to get pressure and, and, and change, the, change the game any way you can. And so uh, that's something that I, I uh, I love I, I love that I was able to happen you know this last game and uh, we're looking to to keep making that impact as a team you know to help our team out any way we can. Jeff Hawthorne, ninety three seven. Miles, we see the energy of Danny Smith. Uh, what's he like in those scenarios, especially coming off that opening kickoff? Can you kind of take us through how he talks to you guys about building up and how does he compare to other coaches that you've had? Sure. Danny Smith is, you know, he's full of energy. I know you might see him on 
on film and you think, you know, he looks like he's old. No, he is full of energy. He has probably more energy than half the guys on the team. <laughs> and, uh, but he's very, he's very wise. He's going to prepare us and he's going to uh, detail, make, detail our work in a way that, you know, by the time the game comes, we're not thinking, we're not, we don't have to, we're not bogged down with, you know, a bunch of little things, what could happen, what could, you know, what couldn't happen. We're very prepared come Sunday. And uh, that's something that he brings to the table is, is, is a, almost a calmness come Sunday, not to mention we have, we have veterans on our team that, you know, it, it makes it a very easy environment to become acclimated with and, and want to perform well in. Alan Saunders with the sports now. Yeah. It looked like you, you kind of beat your guy to the inside. Um, was that something that you had seen from, was it film or was it just from the earlier punts in the game that you felt like you had an opening there? Well, you know, that's the thing uh, with punt and punt block. It, it, it happens so quickly that, you know, you can study something on film, you know, until you're blue in the face, but they may correct it when it's your time to play. And so you just, it's something Danny says all the time. You never know when your number is going to be called. There's going to be a time when your number's called and mine happened to be called uh, in this game. And it's up to it's up to me. It's up to every single one of our guys to to execute when your number's called. And Chris Adams, the trip. We'll do one more after this. We'll do Jeff after this. Okay. Miles, you kind of just referred to it here, but I just kind of take us into you know you guys for seventeen game or sixteen games, seventeen games every week have these meetings. Danny probably finds something with every team where there might be a crease or a vulnerability or something. But I mean, obviously, there's there might be one or two block punts a year if, if you're lucky, uh, or you know something like that. Do, do you go into a game thinking we have a shot to do this, or is it like every game you feel like we got a real shot to do this, or, or is it just a matter of he calls a certain, you know, front or a certain play or however you want to call it, and you're like, okay, this is this is go time now. How does that kind of work every week? Because like again, even if you do everything right, your success rate is probably not going to be really high because that's just the nature of of how you know of that play. Sure. Well. I, um, listen, I'm, I'm originally from Las Vegas and, um, you know, I see guys in the casino all the time and the odds of you winning a number on, uh, you know, let's just say roulette are, are very low, right? But you don't put that money down thinking you're going to lose. So I, I would, I would say that that's probably a fair comparison to this, you know, you, the only way you're going to get a big play on special teams is if you think you're going to get it. And you have to think that way every single time, no matter what the odds are. Otherwise, you're not going to get it, if that makes sense. Last one, Jeff Hawthorne, 93.7. Well, sticking with that theme, I don't think a lot of people went into those casinos and laid money on the Steelers uh, to win that game. Uh, what's the significance uh, of the win yesterday? <laughs> Well, I, uh, I'll tell you what, we're one and oh, and you know, we're looking to be two and oh, that's, that's all I know. I, I don't get into the odds. You know, you, you think maybe I would, but I, I, I didn't get into the odds that much. You know, I'm new to the AFC. Um, but I know it was a big game because it was a game that we we're playing that week, not to sound too cliche, but, um, each week is just as big as the last week for me. So I'm just looking for a, let's get this next one. Hey, Ulysses, uh, can you kind of run us through that play from your standpoint and kind of your feeling as you're seeing the ball uh, land right there? Oh, man, it was just it was just a play that we've just been running all week in practice and then just a lot of effort and a lot of uh, just great execution. Um, and then when the ball was right there, I just seen that at the corner of my eye and thankfully it was right there, just picked it up and ran to the end zone. For prior. Ulysses, you're being kind of chill for a guy that scored a special teams touchdown in such an exciting way. I mean, what was that moment like when you finally, you know, you score and, and it kind of sinks in that you guys have just pulled off this pretty insane play in a crucial moment in a in a road venue? Oh um, man, it's just it's just a blessing. I just can't thank God enough just for the opportunity, man. But um honestly. I don't know when it kicked in for me. I don't think it really set in for me until I got to the sideline and just sat down. Um, but just to see all the guys are so excited and just see all my teammates just come around me and we just all excited about just 
making a play was just amazing to me. It was just something I remember forever. Um, not only just because the game was just so big, just because it's just playing with their brothers in and day in and day out and just all the things we went through with camp and just to this point, it just felt amazing. We'll go to Nick Fairball next. Hey, Yuli, you also made a big special teams play on the opening kickoff. Mackenzie kind of broke that out, and you came from behind on a hustle play to make that play. Kind of looking back on it, what was going through your mind on that play as you were hustling down to, to get him, and how big do you think that play was in retrospect to really hold him to three after that with your defense? Um, To me, it's just a hustle play. It's just something that I just feel like as a football player and just as a competitor is what you do. Uh, just never quit on a play. That's what. I've been learning from a young age and it's always stuck with me. So that's just something in me just to continue to run. You never know what could happen. And then um, honestly, when I got him down and we got him to, and we set him to three, um, at that point I was just like, okay, that was dope. But at the end of the day, I mean, we had a long time to play. And to me, it's just like next play and continue to continue to go out there and just continue to play, so. Chris Adamski. Hey, Liz, he's, uh, just I, what is kind of the every week? I'm sure Danny, you know, draws things up or shows you guys things or, or whatever. Did, did you feel this week going into it, especially? Well, we had a chance to, if, if the things break right, that to, to, to get a block punt here or something. Was there anything in particular, or, or is that kind of almost the way he he makes you feel every week that there might be a chance on a certain play, or was there something specific about this particular one that you're waiting for the time to deploy it or whatever? Um, it's just every week. Um, it's just how we prepare. Uh, it's just it's just who we are. It's just how we prepare every each and every day. We feel like it's a possibility every week. Um, we just go in and day out, day in and day out, and just work hard and try to be the best we can at what he has in front of us, to what he teaches us, and we just go out there and practice and execute that, and just pray that we come to the game and execute it the right way to make it play like that. Um, so I just feel like it's day in and day out every week. We feel like we have an opportunity to to make some splash on special teams. Alan Saunders. Yeah, hey, I mean, you were a big special teams contributor two years ago. Obviously, you know, last year you, you you didn't get to do as much. Just how much is that something you feel like you've grown at, and how good was it to get back out there, um, you know, run up and down the field, and being able to make plays for your team after um, dealing with injuries the last two seasons? Um, just for what I've been through, um, like I said, I just can't thank God enough for just allowing me to get to this point once again. Um, I think that's why, for me, it was just. Um, so hyphenated, like just so much and a bigger stage for me just because of that, I just what I've been through, um, not only because of the game. Um, so it just felt amazing just to be out there with my teammates once again, feeling good, feeling healthy, and then just be able to just to play the game I love and play the game that all of us love. Um, so it just it just felt amazing just just being out there, honestly. Um, whatever happens, I was just thankful just to be in this opportunity. All right, got some time for follow-ups. We'll go back to Jeff Hathorn. Jeff? We had heard that at halftime that, that there are a couple of special teams guys had gotten together and said, you know, we need to make a play. Were you part of that group? And, and was there a sense of, of redemption, if you will, from that opening kickoff? Like, hey, and we were able to go out there and, and make a play. Yeah, I mean, I think it was the whole special teams. I think we are just a great union in that way. I think we all just all come together and just understand that we are just as special as offense and defense um, and our part of the team matters as well. And we know that we could change the game around whatever we do as well. So um, I think we just came together, understood that if something happens, we know we need to make it and take advantage of it. And uh, thankful that something did happen, we did take advantage of it, so. Chris Sadamski. How are you? Um... Physically, I mean, yeah, you talked about it's been a tough couple first seasons in the NFL with, with injury, especially something like a back that can kind of linger. Or, or you feel like you're all the way past that? Is that still something you have to deal with or, or monitor or, or, or treat or anything like that? Man, I feel good. I mean, just for like any other injury, it's just something that you got to continue just to stay on top of, um, something that you just have to day in and day out prepare for and, and make sure that it doesn't come back. Um, so. And that's what I'm doing. And that's what everybody around here is helping me do. Um, we have a plan together to continue just to do what I can to control what I can control. And everything outside of that is out of my uh, worry, really. So day in and day out, I just do what I can and, and pray for the best. All right, go back to Alan. Uh, yeah, what was it like having uh, Roberts Belaine be a, such a late scratch? And were, were you supposed to be in those positions to make those plays? Or was that maybe you 
moving somewhere because you had to move some pieces with him out. Um, it just sucks when you lose a guy like that and just a guy like Robert. Um, you always want to have a guy like that on the field. I always, um, he's just a great player and a great guy. Um, but I was in the positions I was, I was supposed to be in. Um, and the other positions was playing out. We just had to move other people around. But with everything I was in, I was in the positions I was supposed to be.